What's up guys, Jossie here. I'm really excited about today's video because we got the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL in the Rose Quartz colorway. First, I didn't think I would ever be this much of a fan of a pink phone. One, I do think it's a bit more toned down than you can really even tell on the website. Seeing it in person, it's definitely a more flush like pink colorway. But nonetheless, this is one of my favorite colors, including the hazel color. So I actually got my hands on the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL the Fold, the 9 Pro, the 9, so many names is kind of confusing. But nonetheless, a few weeks ago, I got my hands on those devices here in New York City. I even had the pleasure of flying out to Google's campus in Mountain View with a bunch of other amazing creators. I got a chance to watch the keynote. There's even some cameos with Jimmy Butler and Kiki Palmer, which I greatly appreciated and thought was pretty entertaining. The two things that stood out to me the most when it came to this release was the redesign of the Pixel 9 Pro. And we're going to do the unboxing in just a moment here. And also some of the new AI features like Add Me and Gemini Live. So like I mentioned, I really love the new design of this phone. It does remind me a bit of an iPhone and they made some changes to the camera bar. But without further ado, let's just jump into this unboxing. only thing that we don't have set up right now is my cellular service, which is probably the most important part that needs to be set up because I can't use a phone if I'm not on Wi-Fi. I'm not sure why it didn't work. This is only my second time actually setting up an eSIM, but it shouldn't take too long. All right, connect to Google Fi later. So it keeps giving me this prompt to connect to Google Fi later. I'm in a bit of a time crunch right now. I'm setting up my credit cards. That way I could do tap to pay. But for now, I'm not going to be able to set up my eSIM because I don't have time. I have to ship a package and it is what seven, almost 7 p.m. and I still haven't done my workout. So for now, I'm just going to test out the camera, just, you know, interacting with the phone and then utilizing some of my most used like essential apps like Spotify, probably Gymshark app. And then I'll try to see if I could download this personal training fitness app and YouTube and just see what that experience is like for the time being. All right, so I went into the settings to see if I can transfer over or see how fast I could transfer over my eSIM from my S24 Ultra to the Pixel 9 Pro XL. So it says transfer SIM from another device. All right, so I'm gonna transfer it from Pixel or Android device. I'm gonna scan the QR code, even though I did do this like a second ago. Okay, so now I'm getting prompt on the S24 Ultra to transfer SIM to Pixel 9 Pro XL. Sorry that I didn't focus, but this is all happening in real time. This is a realistic, starting out the week in a life using the Pixel 9 Pro XL. All right, can transfer SIM. Something wrong while trying to transfer SIM to fix problem, contact your carrier. You're kidding. Uh, let's see. Maybe I have the wrong email. Okay. Home. So there's a chance that I'm just being dumb and not selecting the right email. All right, so now it's telling, it's asking me if I wanna transition phone numbers to, or transfer phone numbers from my S24 Ultra to this phone. And um, let's just see, all right, it looks like it's working. There's like this little animation in the top taskbar. That's like, it's downloading the phone number. I wish it actually told me what it was doing, but now I see your service is ready on this phone. You all probably cannot read that, but this top notification. It looks like we're all set up. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to text. I have my contacts already loaded on this phone. So let me just text myself. I wonder if I have my iPhone number saved. I do. I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if this works. It says SMS was sent. I have to find my iPhone. Where is my iPhone? That's right. I needed to charge it just in case because I want to be able to film some footage of using the Pixel while I'm out and about. And there it is, a text message from the Android phone. You're... <laughs> 
All right, so now we're team Pixel 9 Pro XL, and I already love the look and feel of this phone in hand. It really feels like an iPhone. Like I can almost not even tell the difference, and I love that the wallpaper, the lock screen has the same theme or color as my actual device, like even down to the font. All right, so good morning, guys. I'm gonna be doing an Instagram post within the next like 10, 15 minutes, and the inspiration is really using add me feature, that new feature that Google launched in the camera settings, because I wanted to do like a kind of desk setup, like add me picture where it's basically two of me in the same frame. I've never done that before, just to play around with this new AI feature to see if it's tangible and gives me like better results for my Instagram posts, or if it honestly intrigues my audience. guys so it is almost noon and i'm at 23 percent battery life yesterday when i set up the phone i had about 50 percent battery life and that was around like 6 30 7 p.m i haven't used the phone a ton just because i honestly was chilling yesterday yesterday i didn't do much past like 8 p.m so we just walked to fedex to deliver a package came back home all I did was stretch using the pliability app, which I definitely recommend if you're someone who has like a tight, sore body. If you run a lot or just ask a lot of your body, if you like train or something or athlete, or whatever. At that point, I didn't really use my phone a ton, like just browse the internet a bit. Hopped on a PS5, bro. Kurt's birthday was yesterday, so I had to hop online with the fellas and I got whooped, whooped in NCAA 25. Like that game low key mid. Okay, so I actually need to see how well the Instagram post is performing. It is early. You know, I've already posted this week. I don't post multiple times a week, like in my actual like in feed. Right now it has 108 likes in 10 minutes. Not the best performance, especially considering I'm like looking out the window and that's like my signature picture for IG that actually really helped me grow last year is just standing in front of the window. All right, so one thing that I will say that I wish was a feature when it came to add me is an actual timer so when you don't have any other photographer that can take a picture of you let's say you want to have like a clone yourself type of picture which a lot of creatives and photographers do it would have been really nice to be able to have the timer that way i didn't need anyone to take the picture of me now obviously i don't live alone i don't necessarily need that feature right now but i'm thinking about those morning shots where it's 6 a.m and lee's sleep and i want to take and I wanna do like a clone myself, like add me type of picture for Instagram. I'm not able to do that. All right guys, so I've been using the Pixel 9 Pro XL the last couple of days. Yesterday, I charged it around 3 p.m. and it got up to, I think, about 80%. And then I've been using this phone as my main driver and it didn't die until 11 a.m. today. And I've been using it in the morning. It wasn't like a typical day where I'm not on my phone as much in the morning because I'm here in the office. I actually sold one of my watches to a buyer in person. So I've been communicating with them a ton on the Chrono app, along with, you know, consuming content. I'm not really listening to music that much, like browsing the internet and using Google Maps. So yesterday was about 80% charge and it died at around 11 a.m. today. The Pixel 9 Pro XL battery life has a significant boost in battery power compared to previous generations. Google says that this phone, even with high usage, can last a full day. I know that I had about eight hours of standby time, but the fact that I left this house with about 20% battery life. right now and I've been using my phone since 3 p.m. it's about 7 p.m. so about four hours of usage using a hotspot um, streaming music 
browsing the internet and also using Google Maps. I'm also curious to hear what the audio sounds like considering there's a lot of headwind. Selfie camera. Video quality, it looks solid. Not a ton of complaints here. It still looks very punchy and kind of saturated. A bit of processing that makes it not look as natural as iPhone, but nonetheless, it looks good. And I was not on Wi-Fi, on maps, using cellular data, browsing the internet, testing out the camera, taking videos and pictures. It did not die until I got in the house. I will say there's one other feature that I really liked about this phone is pretty niche, but when I was in the Chrono 24 app, I had to create basically with the in-person meetup, I needed to have a private seller contract. And I brought my iPhone with me just to have as a backup because I've been messaging the buyer on my iPhone. But I couldn't actually open up the PDF and download it to my iPhone from the app because it was an attachment, like a, an attachment in our messaging thread. But with the Pixel, I was able to not only view it outside of the Chrono 24 app, but also download it. That way, if I wanted to use some sort of like markup app or mark it up as a PDF, I could do that in the phone. A lot of you all are curious about what it's like posting on social media. And yesterday we did that like, you know, home, test setup posts using not the I did not use the pixel for all of the pictures but I did use the pixel for the add me feature kind of clone myself in that second frame and one thing I was curious is to see how well it performed to see if it see if that in-feed carousel post would outperform other posts I feel like it's still a bit early to tell because it could hit the explore page and people could be really curious about that second slide but to check we got 2380 likes 21 comments and 18 shares now when I respond to these comments it'll be closer to 40 it's doing okay like I've had better posts. I also did a few Instagram posts and the performance, my Instagram story posts have actually done pretty well. Starting off with uh, the questions post where I asked you all what you wanted to see in the week in a life video for the Pixel 9 Pro XL. That's a lot. It seems like people are excited about the Pixel. I'm getting questions in the in-feed post about the Pixel. Not a ton about the add me feature. I even posted this selfie that has 4,000 likes and I'm not mad at it. Like, it's funny, I wouldn't normally use like selfie mode a ton. I prefer to just like flip the camera and use the ultra wide lens to take a picture of myself or like a group. I actually like how punchy and even kind of saturated look and feel that the selfies have. So I'm gonna take this picture and I'm gonna reimagine it just because there's a, a good amount of sky in my background. I'm gonna pick a different photo. I'm gonna pick this one. There's less skyline and all right, I kind of cheated. I already, <laughs> I already tried this picture, but um, I didn't want you to see that like the first, first reimagine AI test like was a failure because in reality it wasn't. I already tested out this picture. So let's just magic eraser. And those pictures weren't bad. Let me just show you what this picture looks like. Like there's a reason why I'm picking this one. So I'm gonna just outline the buildings, the top of my hat, reimagine, let's say cotton, candy, sunset. Because this one I did like an hour ago, the first try was perfect. It generated a very realistic looking sunset. Like, look at this, that's crazy. I don't know if y'all can see, let me bump down exposure. Look at that, that is crazy. Okay, it looks a little AI generated, but it still looks good. All right, so I'm gonna pick, the first one looks a little too fake. There's too many colors, it's like, it's too perfect like dark blue, perfectly transitions to purple and pink. I'm gonna do the last one. Click the checkbox. And I'm gonna save copy. All right, and now we're gonna post this on Instagram. That's clean. That is so clean. Google reimagine.
So I know I've only had the Pixel 9 Pro XL for about a week now. So this isn't a full comprehensive review of the phone, but more of my initial reactions and first impressions. But if you wanna see a more comprehensive review, comment down below a full review or just simply comment that you wanna see a more thorough review of the Pixel 9 Pro XL because I think the experience is gonna be significantly improved once RCS is launched. So I feel like my group chat experience was a bit cumbersome <laughs> without RCS. I could deliver a high quality photo. I can you know, tap back with thumbs up, different emojis. It just didn't feel like a one-to-one -one experience naturally, obviously as texting in an iMessage group chat because I'm not able to reply to messages. I'm not able to undo messages or edit messages, which I find myself relying on more than I thought I would ever rely on. I attempted to send a video just to see what it looked like and I'll show you all in just a moment in the same group chat with my iPhone. That way I could actually see what the experience would be like for an iPhone user. Here it is. Quote, let me tell you what my friend said. Looks like AI made it. With regards to video, there's still a bit of jerky frame jumping when switching between lenses. However, that does get smoothed over in post if you use a video boost. Pictures, I think pictures look good. I feel like I'm kind of splitting hairs between the Pixel and the iPhone when comparing two photos that are well lit. I think iPhone pictures look more natural almost as if you were filming, taking pictures with, I won't say like a Fujifilm camera, but more of what it would be like with a mirrorless or DSLR camera where there isn't too much processing or saturation and the images are just a bit more flat. I think one of the most underrated features that is well marketed, but I think people overlook it, is that new improved 42 megapixel selfie camera. I actually had a lot of fun taking selfies and I don't ever really take selfies unless my wife asks me to. Because of the reimagined tool, I can turn my boring selfies into pictures that have more personality. We talk about this really at all throughout this past week. I've actually really enjoyed using Gemini by simply launching the Gemini app by holding the lock button. I actually started using Gemini like Google. Gemini is so seamlessly integrated into the experience. So one last thing before I close out this video. I wish that the image that appears in the preview or viewfinder looked more closely to what the actual image looks like. I just find that the preview causes me to doubt whether or not it's gonna be a good picture since the rendering of the camera output and the viewfinder is lower quality. I don't wanna make this video too long. I really have enjoyed using the new Pixel 9 Pro XL. I really love the redesign. I mean, these matte edges, the glossy back, the large G, the redesign for the camera bar, it just feels premium and luxurious. It doesn't remind me of how I used to view Android phones, which, you know, phones that have a ton of functionality and features, but they always lacked aesthetics. All right, so that wraps up this week's video. As always, have a blessed rest of your week. Stay tuned for a giveaway coming soon. We've got Techtober right around the corner. And as always, have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all soon. Peace.